I just got hands on with the 1x player Apex and this thing is a straight up beast. But at this price point, who's it really for? Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, welcome back to Digital Jedi Gaming. I'm Matt and recently I was able to get my hands on 1x player's Apex at CES 2026. And this thing is seriously impressive. The Apex is an 8 inch Windows handheld PC powered by AMD's current flagship mobile chipset, the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395. Wow, that's quite a name. Right now, the 395 is the most powerful processor you can get in a handheld. The Apex is paired with a massive 48 gigs of DDR5 RAM, one terabyte of storage, and absolutely huge 85 watt hour backpack battery. And yes, there's even an optional water cooling. You heard me right, an external water cooler for a handheld. With that water cooling attached, you can push the Apex all the way up to a staggering 120 watts TDP. Even without it, this device is no slouch. You can still crank it up to 80 watts, which is already well beyond what most handhelds can do. Hey, just a heads up, the external water cooler doesn't work with every Apex. If that's something you want to use, make sure you order the model that includes water cooling support. Now, the Apex includes a lot of high-end features that we've come to expect a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, fingerprint sensor, USB-C 4.0, and a gorgeous eight inch natively landscape display. Now it's not OLED, but honestly, this is one of the most finely tuned LCD panels I've ever seen on a handheld. And it supports VRR, which makes everything feel incredibly smooth. Where the Apex really starts to stand out with some features you almost never see on handhelds. It has a full size USB-A port, a barrel connector for power instead of a USB-C. It's got trigger locks, Hall Effect triggers, Hall Effect sticks, and a removable 85 watt hour backpack battery that can be hot swapped. On top of your standard micro SD slot that supports up to two terabytes, it also has a micro SSD for even more expandable storage. All right, let's take a look at some size comparisons here. So first on the left here is the Lenovo Legion Go 2 with an 8.8 .8 inch OLED screen and 144 Hertz refresh rate. Now let's take a look at the Switch 2 that I borrowed from my friend Nelly at Gaming Repairs. It has a 7.9 inch LCD display, 120 Hertz refresh rate that also supports VR. So as you can see in this video, the D-pad, the sticks and the face buttons are all really well placed. I'd say I have medium sized hands and the shoulders, the triggers and the back buttons are all very easy to reach. The overall ergonomics here are great. Now let's run a quick benchmark before we wrap this up. All right, I was so excited about getting my my hands on the Apex, I forgot to hit record during the benchmarking, so I borrowed some from my buddy Nelly at Gamer Repairs. Thanks, Nelly. With an average of 83 FPS, you can tell the 395 chipset is an absolute beast. Now, if you're a frame rate junkie, just imagine what you could get if you took advantage of things like frame gen or lossless scaling, or even just turning the settings down to medium. When it comes to performance, the Apex is an absolute monster. So the Apex is an incredible device with very few downsides, but there's one big factor that can be a deal breaker for a lot of people. The price. The 395 chipset is currently the most powerful chipset available on a handheld PC, and that level of performance doesn't come cheap. When you factor in the rising cost of RAM and storage, premium devices like this are always going to carry a hefty price tag. So at the time of this recording, the asking price on the Apex comes in at $1,999 US. So who's the Apex really for? If you're looking for something ultra portable, the Apex is probably not what you're looking for. But if you want a powerful premium handheld PC that feels more like a portable console PC hybrid, the Apex is a very compelling option. Hey, thanks for checking out this video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it easy and keep gaming.